Hello and happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. I don't know if you can see it in the shot. I've got my green on here under my sweater. I'm too chilly to take it off and I had a green sweater, but my green sweater wasn't thick enough and I decided I was gonna freeze. I had to go out to meet with someone this morning and needed, needed a little more coverage. It's chilly this week here in Florida. Um, it was like like one week winter here, <laughs> but it's finally getting a little warmer today, thank goodness. Um, so I wanted to jump on really quickly and tell you guys about how one piece of free publicity landed me a $3,000 client today. This is why I wanna get you guys out there and I want you to start landing free publicity because free publicity means money in the bank, okay? Instead of spending money on you know Facebook ads or however else you wanna market yourself, you can get out there and get free publicity that brings you paying clients. And I'm gonna to prove to you today just how easy it is by sharing my story of how I landed a $3,000 VIP client this morning from one piece of publicity. So I see some of you are starting to jump on. If you are here, say hi. I am going to check here on Facebook on my phone because Facebook on my iPad has not been showing me my comments lately and I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything you say or any of the questions that you ask me. Okay, so while I am getting on here on my phone, let me tell you about the experience I just had. So I think a couple of weeks ago, I posted here in the group a picture, a screenshot, where someone had filled out um, my form to have a discovery call with me, a potential client call. And on my form, I ask, how did you hear about me? Because I wanna know where people are coming from. I wanna know where I should invest my time and money. And it's a good way for me to sort of track over time. And now my Facebook app on my phone won't even work. Um, it's a good way for me to track over time where my leads do come from. And that's how I can get on here and confidently tell you the places that you should be in order to get leads because I'm out there doing it myself and I'm tracking it, okay? I'm asking people when they book a call with me, I'm trying to find you guys here on the phone, um, I'm tracking where they're coming from. So that's a big tip I have for you. If you are starting to get more visible and put yourself out there and get more publicity, go ahead and put something together. If you've got a form people have to fill out to get on the phone with you, whether you call it a discovery call or whatever you call it. Yeah, and see, now I'm on Facebook on my phone. Whoops, and I can see that some of you guys are commenting. I told you I couldn't see it up here on my iPad. Jody said hi. Hi, Jody. Jody is my phenomenal, phenomenal VA who one day I'm going to move into my house to also be my personal chef. Um, I saw Tori joined us. Hi, Tori. I think you're traveling today. It sounded like you were going somewhere, but you've been all over the place this week. Um, okay. So back to what I was saying, if you have got a form and I encourage you to have a form people have to fill out, I have tweaked my form over time for my discovery call in terms of what I ask people and um, I, I love it now. Like I, I get such good insight from them. I find out what part of my services they're interested in. I find out what kind of publicity they've already had, what they want. I also ask them, how did you hear about me? And then I know which Facebook groups are most effective for me to be in because they'll tell me which groups they found in. And it turns out it's like the same two groups over and over. So why would I spend my time anywhere else? Um, or, and this is today's tip, they'll tell me what podcast they heard me on. I have told you guys before that podcasts are the best way to generate leads. That is my story and I am sticking to it, okay? I posted a picture here in the group I think a couple of weeks ago where it's showing you where someone filled out my form and when it said, how did you hear about me? They named a specific podcast they heard me on. And in fact, that podcast had only been out for like a few hours. It like dropped overnight and this person emailed me at like 10 o'clock in the morning and booked a call with me. They heard me on the podcast, had never heard of me before, heard me on the podcast, connected with what I was saying, found my website, found my button to book a discovery call with me and booked a call, okay? So I had the call with the person this morning and on the phone, the person signed up for a $3,000 VIP day, okay? I went on a podcast for free. If somebody emails you, I just saw this in my small group yesterday. If someone emails you and offers you to be on their podcast or on their radio show and they want you to pay, it's usually like $49.95. There's several of these going around. 
Do not do it, okay? You should not, not be paying to go on podcasts or radio interviews. Um, Tori says, yeah, all the podcasts. Tori has started doing podcast interviews. Tori is one of my retainer clients. And the very first thing we pitched her for, pretty much like every client, was podcast interviews because I know she's going to get an awesome impact from being on those podcast interviews. In fact, one of her podcast interviews, she did such a freaking good job. The first one I ever put her on, okay, first podcast she went on, they asked her to be a regular guest and to come back monthly. What do you think that's going to do for her business? I've actually never even heard of someone being a regular guest on a podcast. It's like a whole new thing. Um, and I bet you she is going to get all sorts of leads from that once it airs. Okay. So I went on a podcast for free. It took like 30 or 45 minutes of my time. I sat right here in front of my little camera like I'm doing now. And I just chatted and had a good time with the host. We had a blast. I distinctly remember doing that podcast and how much fun we had. And that's it. It came out into the world and now people are booking calls with me. They're opting in for my freebie and they're getting on my list. They're booking calls to ask how they can work with me. And today, the first of those calls I had on the phone, doesn't have to think about it, doesn't have to ask her husband. I don't even know if she has one because she was like, that's it. I want to work with you. Let's do it. Okay. And she signed up for a $3,000 VIP day with me. So the podcast, okay. Free publicity leads to paying clients, people, and podcasts are one of the best ways to get there. And I'm not talking about you need to be on EO Fire, okay? The podcast that landed this client for me is called um, The Soul Fueled CEO, okay? A lot of you probably haven't even heard of it. Tori, I think it's on your pitch list. I think you have it coming up. Um, if we haven't already gotten you a time yet, I will. Um, but Actually, you know what? I haven't gotten your time because that the host and I talked about you already, Tori, um, and we uh, she is going to have you on, and I've been waiting for her to send her scheduler. I'm thinking this through now. Um, but you totally will be on her podcast. So um, a, a free publicity, it gets you paying clients, and podcast interviews are one of the best ways to do it. I highly encourage you, if you are starting to put yourself out there, Get a form in place so that you know where people are coming from. So when I offer a free gift on a podcast, I create a separate landing page just for um, that podcast or like when I do a summit so that I can see how many people come on my list or I'll do a, a, a tracking code, you know, and see how many people get on my list so that I kind of know where they're coming from. But I love having that entry on my discovery form where people tell me where they heard about me. And they'll say the podcast, they'll say on a podcast, but they usually tell me the name of it. And so it's awesome to see those roll in and to know that people found out about you on a podcast or in a Facebook group. It helps you figure out which Facebook groups are actually working for you. Like I said, I found out I basically got all my clients from two groups. So where do you think I spend my time outside here um, is in those two groups. And if you aren't pitching yourself yet and you don't know how to pitch yourself, then let's chat. Okay. There's a couple of different ways you can work with me and we can get your pitch ready. My small group program that's running right now, there are people right here in the group that can tell you how that's going. They are learning how to write their pitch. They're building their pitch list. They are starting to pitch themselves. Some of them have already landed opportunities and we're on week three um, of a seven, eight week program. It's eight calendar weeks seven weeks of training. That's why I said seven, eight week program. I do actually know how long it is. Um, <laughs> uh, I had someone in the first week take the expert statement we worked on in week one, pitch herself to a reporter on Harrow, and they are featuring her in a print magazine. They are sending a crew to her house to take photos of her for this print magazine. Okay. There's also VIP days. I had a VIP day with someone last week who's right here in the group, um, Stephanie, and she, in one week, okay, we had the VIP day, and in one week, she's taken the pitch we created. We literally wrote a pitch together. That's what you do in a VIP day with me. We will get to your expert statement, the, your expert statement ready, write two to three pitches, and we will come up with a pitch list. You will walk away literally ready to start pitching yourself the next day. And I can prove to you that that happens and that it works because Stephanie just had her VIP day with me a week ago. She has landed an article on Entrepreneur that publishes this Monday. She got the yes uh, yesterday or the day before, 24, less than 24 hours after she sent it to the editor. And 
even better, using the tip I gave you guys here in the group earlier this week in the last live I did about newsjacking and using a trending news story to piggyback off of to pitch. She did exactly what I talked about in that video, already had her pitch ready from our VIP session, less than 24 hours gets a yes from Entrepreneur. She'll be on Entrepreneur Monday. So when she gets published on Entrepreneur, it will be less than two weeks after our VIP day. That is how fast you can get results, okay? She also pitched herself within a few days of our VIP day for an opportunity with uh, Intuit small business for their small business blog. They're sending a crew to her house to interview her. Okay. So both in the small group program and in the VIP program. And certainly if you want to work with me on retainer, I actually have two spots open right now for uh, retainer clients. So tons of ways you can work with me and that we can get your pitch ready and start landing you these publicity opportunities as well. And you can start seeing that generate leads in your business and grow your business for you. So I'm just checking your comments here on my phone. If anybody has any questions about that and about the strategy or about how I was able to convert a podcast interview into a $3,000 VIP client like that. Let me know. And if you're interested in a VIP day or in the small group program, uh, you essentially, you're going to learn a lot of the same things in both. It's just whether you want to get it all done in one day and start pitching the very next day, or if you want to do a little bit longer program and dig a little bit deeper into some of the topics. So if you want information on either one of those, let me know the next round of the live small group program starts May 1st. There's also an evergreen version. You get less me, less of me and my knowledge and strategy on your business, um, but a faster and cheaper way to go through the small group program. Or we can do a VIP day together and we can get several pitches ready to go for you. Get your pitch list built out and you'll have your publicity strategy for like the next year, okay? So let me know if you wanna chat about any of those opportunities. I hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day and a fabulous weekend. Thanks, guys.